Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY video for you. And also today's video is in collaboration with my friend Bethany over at Simply Bethany. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She's gonna be doing a DIY project herself. So y'all go check her out. And if you are here from Bethany's, then I just wanna say, hey, make sure y'all leave me a comment so that I can get to know ya. All right, let's do this. There and um, paint my new table. I took a vote on Instagram and most people said to distress the top white. All I'm gonna be able to use is the same paint that I painted um, my room with, like the white. So it's just like an eggshell, um, like wall paint. So I'm really hoping that this turns out okay. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. Now I know when I painted my cabinets, cause I used the exact same paint, one coat, made it look really farmhousey. It was like kind of street looking and it looked so good. It looked like weathered wood or something. I wish I would have just left my cabinets with just one coat because it looked so good. And I ended up just like going through and painting the whole entire thing like as white as I could get it. And I regret it so bad now. But I mean, I like the white. They were like an ugly poo poo brown before and they were just, they were just in rough shape. In one of my previous videos, I think it was my Christmas video, I did mention that my mother-in-law has a thrift store. So everything in our house, literally almost everything, I think with the exception of our bed, is all from her. So um, just so happened to be that we were helping her clean out someone's storage unit this weekend. And this was in there, this table and chair. And I fell in love and she loved it too. Um, I think she was gonna like redo it and stuff, but she decided that since I loved it so much that I could go ahead and take it. There's four chairs. At the table right now, there's actually five, but the table is very, very big. It doesn't fit in my kitchen with just with the five chairs, so I have one put up in the back room. I will show you in this video how this table does. I'm not quite sure if I want to keep the pieces that come out. So you'll see all that. I'm gonna paint those anyways and just kind of you know, keep them down for right now until I kind of decide what I want to do with it. But also, let me know. Please let me know in the comments. Give me some feedback about what you think would look best for this. Let's hey get started. So, I found um, a channel on YouTube called Eternal Harvest Decor, and she used the method that I'm about to use. I've got my paint. Um, this is just an interior paint. It's PPG. It's what I used in the house and I got it from my dad. So I'm not sure where he got it from. I think he gets all his paint from Sherman Williams or like there's a paint store by the house, by his house. So he's a painter. Anyway, so then I've got these little cheap behind paint brushes. I think they were like $2 at Dollar General and some paper towels. Okay. So she also used wax that she got from the store. I do not want to leave my house to go get wax right now nor do I really want to spend any money on this project. I really want to do it with what I have already. Um, that's how I always am. So I've got a bowl. Um, it's one of my good bowls. I really, really hope this doesn't mess it up. I am going to scoop the wax out of that candle and just kind of um, spread it out on the table. There's the, way the she wax. Did. Smells so good. Maybe my table will smell good. The table's already really clean, but I just want to get like any dust that might have settled like overnight. So the channel that I told y'all about, I saw her do this. She did not do it like this. Um, she used the right materials and stuff like that. So if you want to do this the right way, <laughs> then go watch her channel and um, watch that video. I'm going to link it down below and then you can um, do it the right way. If this doesn't turn out right, then yeah, like go watch her channel. But anyways, yeah, so I'm just kind of like making it my own. But yeah, this was her idea, not mine. Just want to say that. The wax and a preferably not rusted paint thing, but this is all I have. And so I'm going to use this. Um, I did try to scrape off most of the rust on the back porch. Whatever. I'm going to try it. So then you just like get some and you're going to like run it over the table. Do you get what I'm saying? Like in spots that you want to be uh, weathered. The wax does not stay on the table like forever. You're gonna take the wax off later. But let's see. I'm so scared. I don't want to do it. Ah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, this isn't working. So I don't want to do the whole table like this. I'm just going to do like sections, like parts, you know? I am so scared. Like,
like this didn't harden up like I thought it was going to so I'm starting to wonder if it's gonna like drag it so scared oh my gosh okay so I think I'm just gonna do it like lightly I really don't want it to drag oh but wait do you see what I'm saying this paint does like the whole weathered look itself oh maybe I didn't have to do what I did I don't know we'll see This is what it's looking like after the first coat, the first coat, after the first coat of um, white paint. And I don't know. Okay, so I actually like the way it looks right, right there. I like that. I'm not too hip on the way the middle turned out, which is the piece that people actually will see. <laughs> because I'm going to have the sides folded down if I keep the sides. But I really like the okay, side. Okay, so a couple of issues that I like see with this is, well, first was I don't think it's a good idea to put wax on it. I honestly think that if I would have just used one coat of paint with the paintbrush that I had and just went through and painted it, it would have turned out the whole whitewash look. And I think it would have been fine. So the issue with the wax is that the paintbrush started picking up a lot of the wax. And so really now the paint has turned into like wax paint. And I don't even think that's a thing. So I don't like it. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. Okay y'all, so this is what I'm doing. I already messed up right there. So I'm glad I left the paint out, but I don't like this. I do not like this at all. I'm just kind of going through and like scraping the paint softly. I really don't like it. I'm thinking there has to be something else that I can do. with right now I am not happy about this at all so what I think I'm about to do is I think I've got all the um this if it looks like this I think I would be more pleased but I'm not so what I'm gonna do is take a paintbrush and run back over this again with some more white and just hope that it kind of oh, turns out okay I don't know because it looks like a cow <music>
Okay, I'm okay with this. I actually like this. It reminds me of like wood on the side of a barn at like a ranch or something. So all of a sudden I have like a whole new idea of a way to redo my kitchen like decor. All right y'all, so that is what it looks like. It's not completely dry, but I'm ready to eat me some lasagna. So I wanna go ahead and end this video. <laughs> <laughs> but so I actually am okay with the way it turned out it does not look that bad actually yeah I like how it turned out the only thing that I know that I'm gonna have to do I think I'm gonna have to get some I think it's called polyurethane um, I think I'm gonna have to get that to coat this because I will tell you the places where I put the wax at it's still like it's like the paint comes off of them and I don't like I don't want the paint to come off so um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do like one of those polyurethane things But that's okay. I'll do that later down the line maybe like in a couple weeks or whatever But because we're we don't really actually eat at the table anyways. We watch TV while we eat it the way it is for right now Kind of like live with it for a couple of weeks and then decide What I feel like I always look like this whenever because I'm like looking that way, but the little thingies up there anyways um yeah, I think I need to, like, live with the table the way it is for a little while and then, um, and then decide if I want to change it or anything, if I want to sand the whole entire thing down and start fresh or if I just want to sand some of it and, 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 like, make it look a little bit more weathered. The dogs are freaking out. I don't know what's going on. If you came from Bethany's channel, then please leave me a comment. Um, say hi. If you haven't been to Bethany's channel yet, if you're seeing my video first, please go watch her video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for everything. Y'all the best. Bye.